So what's the weekly puzzle in issue 302? Here it is. I'd like you to tell me what this weird looking sum gives you. And there you have this series of terms where the denominators involve thirds. So obviously not a case for trial and error here. There'll be a definite technique. You're adding these fractions, but not by combining them, by multiplying these denominators. No, not when these denominators are so awkward. If you've got a fraction, if you've got a division, then I'd rather do a division of a whole number into some nasty decimal rather than trying to divide a decimal into a whole number. So what I want to do here is try and change these fractions so that I've got a nice rational denominator. Rationalize the denominator. So how could you get rid of those roots? Well, a root 5, the antidote to that would be another root 5. That would give you the whole number 5 back. So if I had a fraction involving that, I would simply multiply the top and the bottom by root 5. Doesn't get rid of the root, appears at the top, but I've got a nice denominator. So what would happen here? Well, I've got a root 1 plus a root 2. If I was to multiply it by a root 1 plus a root 2, then the first times the first sorts itself out, and the last times the last sorts itself out, but I'd have these two products would still have root 2s in it. So what you would do instead is multiply it by root 1 minus root 2. You would use its conjugate. You would use its partner that would form the factorization for the difference of two squares. And if you multiply the denominator by that, multiply the numerator by that. So that means on top I've got 1 times root 1. I think here I'll just put that back as 1 minus a root 2. And underneath you've got the difference of two squares. Square this, that's one. Square that, that's two. One take away two is negative one. And I'll just use that negative to reverse the subtraction on top. So I've got, I'll leave it in this form, negative one plus root two. Now, obviously, the next one will do the same thing. That will turn into a root two minus a root 3 when you multiply the bottom by its conjugate over and then the same again, 3, a 2 take away 3 is negative 1 so that means I've got now minus root 2 and then plus the root 3 this would cancel the next one, if I was to put it in, would have root 3 and root 4 so it would go minus root 3 plus root 4 minus and so on until you got to this last term now this last term is going to be minus the root 91808 plus the root 91809. And of course the term before that would have been the 0708 term. That would have had a plus 91808. And all these pairs will cancel out until you're simply left with negative 1 plus root 91809. Now, I was avoiding using a calculator here, because obviously with the way calculators are nowadays, you could just type that in and get these answers. But that would defeat the purpose of this problem. So I'll not resort to a calculator now for this part either. So how could I find this square root? Well, going in to four places, I've got a 9, so that must be bigger than 300. Whatever the square root of that is, it's greater than 300. Not much more, though. Now if I have a number with zeros in the middle, like A, O, B, where A and B are some digits, maximum 9, and it was to square that, then of course what that stands for is 100 lots of A plus B all squared. And when you square that, that means that you'd have A squared, which would be in the 10,000s column, so whatever A squared is could occupy two places, but then would leave four empty spaces behind it untouched. B squared could occupy these two places, and twice AB will occupy, now it's times 100 so it can't touch them, would occupy these places, but it might spill over onto that depending on the size of the number. So the worst case would be 909 squared, where that would have to be square the first, square the last, twice the product, 
which is 81, doubled it, 162. There was only two places for it, so 162 makes it 82681. So if I'm looking for the square of a three-digit number with a zero in the middle, then basically I've got three sets of two places. Two places at the front for the square of the front, two places at the end for the square of the end, and two places in the middle for twice the product. So what could this possibly be? With a nine at the end, the only possible numbers that give a nine in for its square are either a three or a seven. What if it was this? Square the first, nine. Square the last, that would be oh nine. Product, nine doubled, 18. There you are. So that means this is negative one plus three oh three. So that would be three oh two. Now, I avoided using a calculator because a calculator could cope with this quite easily. It's not really appropriate in the spirit of this. Calculators are there to assist and not replace abilities. One way of looking at that, this is, could this have been done by a monkey with a calculator? Could it have been done with absolutely no understanding of what any of these symbols stand for? Simply by matching the symbols that are written down with the symbols on the button of the calculator. What would be, for this problem, its MC coefficient? What would be its monkey with a calculator rating? Let's pay a brief visit to Dauber High where classmates Andrew and Malcolm have been set this task as a punishment for spitting in the bin on the way into the classroom. If they solve it, then they can still get their smiley faces on their behaviour card. Ah, oh, what's he going on about? Do you want me to spit in a the flare then? Right, come on, what's, the, what's this crap? Right, use that calculator. What? That's for bams! Oh. Oh, sir, gonna give us one of the ones you give to your good classes. Cheers. Get yeah, milky. Take that. Take it. Look, look at Wendy. Aye, hold on, you chuck it out. Go on, go on, chuck it. Chuck, aye, chuck it out. Oh, yeah, dancer. Got the Johnny and his baldy head. Right, back to this. Oh, what's this? Right. What? What's all this? Line. Another line. What do you mean? No. Frax fraction! Ha! Oh. Smart arse, eh? Fraction! So it's got a toe there. One! Tick! Tick! Oh, it's no right! I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. Del... Del... Delete! God, you should be up the road with those posers! Up at that Grange! Delete! Oh, barman! Go and delete that order, please! Right, how do you get it down? Oh, down! Put! Up, down! Up, down! Side, side! Up! It's like a Nintendo! Only burn the s. Right, what we got? Tick! One! Add on! No! Right. Delete! Right, get away, get away from it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Check out Sean Dell there! Look at her face, it's pure orange! <laughs> and. Hey! What do we want to talk about you for? Aye! And so's your ma! What? 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 Aye, what on it, what on it. Tick. Two. Get away. <coughs> Get away. Now press it. Oh, look at that, look at that. Take away one. I don't tick two. Oh, that's just in my head then. I got another one to do. Right, what do we do? I don't. Right. I don't. Oh, it's going. Add on that fraction. <laughs> One. He's a bit of a Look at that. Look at Specky McDavish's big ears there sticking out. Let's see if we can pure hit one of them. Oh, no, missed hit the board. Right, right. We do, we do, we do, we do. No, no, with the knee. No, no, I'm doing my work. I'm doing my work. But everybody else is talking and mucking about and you're picking on me. No, I'm doing my work. I'm going on with it. 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 Right, right, right. Tick. Do. Move it on. 
Adon Tech. Fini. Gabé, Gabé, Gabé. Oh, it's the same. Maybe it's not the same. Oh, it's got a fini. Right. Now what? Same again. Adon. This is boring. Adon. Dots. Three dots. There it's there. Dot, dot, dot. Oh no, oh, sir, sir, it's broken, calculate it's broken, can you do it? Well, thwarted by the lack of an ellipsis button on a calculator. So here it looks like we've got an MC of about 8. Oh, but wait, there's been a development. Right. press that. Oh, no starting again. No, look at that, I my soldiers. What's that? Okay. You what? It went 2 and it went 3. So just put that in. Can I stay eh? Man. Take away one. Add on. Take. Nine. One. Eight. Nothing. Nine. Oh, that must be a prayer. Three or two. Three or two. Oh, Mr. Smith. Is the answer three or two? <laughs> Just got our smiley faces back. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Ten out of ten for me. Oh, I'm not doing any more. What's the next period? Ari! Oh, that's crap. It's worse than this. I'm not going. There you go then. MC of about nine and a half.